Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's DIY, I know it's been such a long time since I've done a DIY, but I'm here to tell you guys that I am back. Pretty soon I'm going to have a tutorial on the wreath, a uh, paper wreath that I have promised. I'm so sorry for so long, but today we're just going to focus on this 3D circle garland which i am loving right now so my friend is having a housewarming this weekend and i decided to just throw together this really cute garland that i think will add like a really nice accent and touch to her tablescape if you want to learn how to do this keep on watching so for this diy you're going to need a glue gun with some glue sticks you're also going to need whatever color paper you are going to use. Because the theme is pretty in pink, I'm going to use different shades of pink. I know that looks like white paper in the back, but it's actually like baby pink. And then you can also use paper with like a printed texture looking, well you know what I mean. Then you're going to need hole punchers. I'm showing you two, but I actually use the one on the right, the two inch one. The one on the left is one inch. And of course you're going to need some scissors and string or um, thread whatever you want to use to hang your garland and I'm just going to use this because I had pink ribbon so I am just taking my 8 by 11 cardstock pink paper and I've already started I'm just going to continue on the other side so you guys can see exactly what I did so I'm taking my two inch hole puncher and um, Sorry, my allergies are just really crazy. So I'm gonna take my two inch hole puncher. You don't wanna punch the paper this way because you cannot see like how far apart you're punching the holes. So as you can see, I like to put them really, punch them really close together to save paper. And I can get five on this eight by 11 cardstock if I try really hard to keep them as close as possible. So I like to hole punch them with the hole facing towards me, if that makes any sense. But I am just demonstrating it for you guys here. After I have punched holes on both sides, I'll take my scissors and then I will just cut one end off. Again, staying as close as I can to the holes that I've already punched out. Then I'll just take my two inch hole puncher I think this is a two I'm just guessing I think it's two inches and then I will punch the other side and voila then you're gonna take your holes and then you're gonna fold them up to create a taco looking circle paper I'm like what am I trying to say okay so you're gonna go ahead and do that to a couple of them and honestly I didn't really have a pattern that I was doing I just whatever color light pink dark pink whatever pink I grabbed I just kind of started gluing them together so see you're gonna take two tacos you're gonna glue one of the ends together and I'm gonna show you right here and you're not gonna glue it completely shut you just want to do the half moon if that makes sense like just that one part I'm going to show it to you closer, so you're going to leave this part with no glue. Okay, because our ribbon is going to go there, so we don't want to seal it completely. Take the other side and just smash them together. Okay, so when you have two of those, like you need to make two of these that I'm showing you. So I'll just grab one to show you guys the next step. Okay, so now that you have two of these pieces together, what we're going to do is glue them together like so. So using the same uh, technique or the same way that you glued the first taco, I don't know how else to describe it, you're going to do it to this. So just half a moon. Guys, I'm just like making up my words. It's like so late at night, but this is the only time that I can really edit and put out videos. Back to the garland. See, so you're gonna press only that one side together. We'll decide with the glue. 
and then you'll see the other side that there's an opening. You're going to grab your ribbon or string, whatever you're going to use to hang your garland. You're going to slide it in between those two tacos right there, the only opening you have right now. Okay, so then you are going to grab your glue gun and you're going to glue just that one half, one side. Again, don't get it anywhere in the middle because we want to be able to move the 3D garland circles back and forth on the ribbon. And so after you put the glue there, squeeze it together, let it dry for like a couple of seconds. checking all the other sides here is a really quick sneak peek of the twirling 3d pretty in pink garland that's what I'm gonna call it <laughs> and here I am just sliding it around that's what I really like about this garland it's not really permanent you can you know put three clustered together or separate and here I'm just showing you guys a really quick sneak peek peek at how I plan on hanging it this weekend. Follow me on my social media because that is where I'm going to post pictures from this weekend so you kind of can get um, a picture of the whole tablescape set up. But again, I really like this. This is this will work really well for contrasting colors like maybe um, teal and yellow or purple and green, purple and lime. So just play around with the, you know, different colors. And this garland, I'm going to tell you right now, has to be my favorite garland. There is some of my social media information. Thumbs up this video if you want to see more DIYs. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video.